Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Lefferses, and we are going to Magic Kingdom today for the pass holder previews. But it has been quite the experience so far. So we requested an Uber because there's no transportation to this, and we tried to go to Contemporary. They wouldn't let us in. Yeah. So then they're like, go to the TTC. So we go to the TTC, the Chicken Transformation Center, and um, it's like 7:30 right now, and they said that they wouldn't let us in until 8 o'clock. They they wouldn't let us like get dropped off until eight o'clock but he said you can just drive down the road and like basically just drop you off in the street so then we drove we ended up going in circles for a while and then finally just literally getting dropped off in the street we went through this parking lot that we were not supposed to be walking Disney through. security was like yo <laughs> what you doing and we're like we're just trying we looked to get super sketchy we're just trying to get to the ticket transportation center we and did explain our situation and how like we didn't know what else to do and they just we, they just stuck in stuck us in the right area yeah we'll show you um security we haven't even we're not even allowed in yet i don't think i think they're waiting till eight yep. so we'll let you know how that all goes when we're ready so Alyssa wanted to show off her OOTD. So let's start at the top. I have these adorable honeybee ears and they're yellow. They're they're from Ears by Jess. It's an Etsy shop and I'll leave her link down below. I'm also wearing the Save the Bees shirt from Shop Disney. If you haven't seen our Shop Disney haul, we'll leave that link down below, but. She's got her Burks on today. I do have my Burks and my shorts from Loft. We are in the ride drop-off area, and they do have markings here, six feet apart. So if you're waiting for your ride, you have to stand six feet apart. Um, and then down there is where all the security and stuff is, so we'll show you how that goes later. Same thing happened to them, so we are not the only ones. This is the parking lot we walked through, and security was like, what are you doing? We're not the only ones, so we don't feel that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so it is now 8.15 and we haven't been able to go through security yet, so they're definitely not letting people in early. <laughs> there is a separate line for car drivers versus this. I don't know, we're not really sure what we're doing at the moment. So it looks like we kind of got screwed in that situation because we are have to go to this line. So we have to go to the end of this line. They now have the social distancing lines as you get closer to the temperature screening check. They have their, of course, health and safety notice right here. And there's a COVID warning sign up there, basically saying that if you come into the park, you could get COVID and you can't sue Disney for it. So when you come through the TTC, they have buses going that way. You can take the monorail going that way. Then they have the ferry boat. They have cast members everywhere. And then all on the ground is they have these great big one, two, three, four, five, six. All for social distancing. So they are basically partitioning one party into each monorail and then they are able to sit and then they're able to bring another party in to sit on the opposite side. Carrying a lot less people, but being Yes, a lot less people. Socially distant. Very socially distant. I think I think the hardest part is trying to keep track of the six feet distance in lines because it gets moving and then it stops and you're like, whoa. <laughs> I know, and everyone's like, oh my god, we're not on a line. <laughs> but everyone's being a good team. We're yeah. we're knowing when to stop. So usually at the TTC, they have one monorail going to the uh, parks and one going to the resorts but they have both going to Magic Kingdom, so they can load both and get them there to move people faster. This one just pulled in, and you can see that people are lined up on their respective little numbers there, and they're gonna load them on, and then they'll load the next group for those cars, I think. So we'll be in the next group. I'm assuming we'll be in the next group that gets us in. We'll, we'll get on this ride. Yep, so they're pulling us on. So let's see what happens. So in the car, there's one party over there, and then they have a partition across the middle of each of the cars. They request that you sit so you're not standing and holding on to the bars, and we're gonna get going soon. Vloggers will cross the way in the monorail. It was, what was it? They were the Disney for foodies. Disney for foodies. And it looks like a mother daughter team headed in 
to, you know, do what we do as Disney vloggers. So we're gonna see who else we run into today. I promised myself I wouldn't cry today, but uh, I don't know. The music, it's happening. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. We've made it to the most magical place. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Guys, we've made it. We've made it. I noticed that City Hall is still under construction. But yeah, it's officially nine o'clock right now and we are just hanging out at the front because there's a parade or a little thing that's about to start. We're just so happy to be here. So happy to be here. Oh my gosh. This is literally the best day ever. This like what? Hi Piglet, I love you! I love you! Hi Eeyore! Oh my god, I, I seriously can't right now. Finally strolling down Main Street. Oh my goodness. We are so happy to be here. I can't even tell you how happy I am to be here. I have cried 10,000 times already. Whew, I'm gonna cry again. I can't handle it. But it's so great. I'm literally stalking them, guys. This is a problem, but I can't. I'm so happy. We found a little secluded, shaded spot, and Alyssa is rehydrating. Is there just sweat all over my face? I can't tell. We're oh all in this together. So yeah, I mean, it's- We're definitely gonna need to bring more masks tomorrow. I think I already need to switch out of this one very soon. Well, a cloth mask was no good. But I think what we're gonna do, we need some air conditioning real quick. So we're gonna go on a ride, maybe Haunted Mansion. That's fine. We'll see the wait time. Yeah. And Chase will come with us. We're so happy to be here. There was a photo pass right there and we did take it. So there are some photo passes out, but this is look so at this. <laughs> the park is literally dead. It's so crazy to see. I feel like there's more cast members than guests in the park. Yeah, for sure. Cast members are everywhere. <laughs> that is so true, but we're just, we're just happy to be here, seriously. I eat sweat and all, like hot messes already. There's also a photo pass right there that gets Haunted Mansion in the background, which is where we're headed next. It's a 10 minute wait, that's too long. It's a 10 minute wait, too I think long. we can do it. Too I think long. we can do it. Hello. So now they have the social distancing markers and sanitizer, which reminds me. Look at that butte. We're just going straight through. We're not going through any of that because they don't want people to touch it, I'm now, sure. Oh. oh my gosh. There's no longer any waiting in the stretch room. You just walk right through it. There's another sanitizer right there. We're on. Seven spiders fail the rat. All in the spirits, wherever they're at. So we just got off Haunted Mansion and since they like you can't stay in the stretch room, they don't have the stretch room scene, I feel like your eyes don't fully adjust until like halfway through the ride. So <laughs> for the first like half of the ride we couldn't really see anything <laughs> we were just like what's happening so that's kind of a little down downer but still so good to get on a ride haunted mansion being our first i was happy about it just stopped at my favorite bathroom it almost feels that we're like at extra magic hours but in daytime so it's like extra magic but in the morning because there's or it's like the early morning magic. Yeah, the early morning magic. Um, it's insane. So right now we're walking over to Big Thunder Mountain because why not? The world is our oyster today. I well, know. the park is our oyster. Yeah. So heck, we might even go on Liberty Bell. Who knows? So our usual go-to pin spot, Frontier Trading Post, is actually closed. Which makes sense because it'd be a hard shop to get people through but if the shop is closed they have this little window this little th sign on the door says sorry we are closed the disney duck they train them <laughs> right Alyssa? Yep. to walk just in the right areas at the right times so this duck good old splash mountain
We are now gonna go on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. It is a 35 minute, it was 20, and then it just shot up to 35. So we'll see if it actually takes 35 minutes. All right, so Alyssa just asked me for a fan. Bringing out the fan already. She caved, it's 9.55. It's hard to be in the sun. When we're in yeah. the shade, it's not as bad, but the, the sun is. The sun is definitely a game changer. All right, we're in row six. So it looks like they are only loading one party per car. There's gonna be two rows in between each of us that are not going to have anyone in there. I'm so excited to go in Big Thunder! There we go. <laughs> it's so weird because there's there's nobody in front of us except two people right there. It's so crazy. <laughs> Check out how empty this train is. Yay, 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 yay. Totally I love worth Big it. Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder is amazing. It wasn't a 35 minute wait. It no, was it wasn't maybe bad. Like maybe 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, it wasn't so terrible. not bad. We just left Frontierland and we are now going into Adventureland to ride the Adventureland rides while we're over here. We have plenty of time to do literally everything in the park today. This is just, this is just so magical. I'm sorry, I just got super dark. Well, it says Pirates of the Caribbean is a 45 minute wait right now. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but we're gonna wait on that one and check out something else. Jungle Cruise is a 30 minute wait. I think we need food. I just realized that we haven't even eaten anything yet today and it's, Almost 11 o'clock, so we need food. So all of the shops in Adventureland are closed, not able to access them. Skipper Canteen, I think, is not necessarily open today, but it will be open on Saturday because we have reservations for there. Sunshine Tree Terrace is open. It is still so strange to see the parks this empty. Crazy. Look at what we got. So this is the orange cream float. It is basically orange ice cream and vanilla ice cream swirl with orange Fanta at the bottom. Mm. It's been too long. <laughs> it is so refreshing. This is also our breakfast <laughs> or part of our breakfast. We might just snack all day, honestly. Gotta hydrate, gotta refuel, and since we're eating, we get to take our masks off for a few minutes, so it feels good. Have you missed our face? So if you're not a huge pineapple Dole Whip fan, we highly recommend getting this orange cream float. It is so refreshing. It is the best. Of course, we are demolishing it in like 0.25 seconds, so. We've got a band over here. I love it. The Little Mermaid. And let's get a closer look at this beauty. Oh, so beautiful. If you didn't know, the castle has been painted. And it's so, so stunning. The gold trim is beautiful. The pink is perfect. It just looks absolutely stunning. So you can tell it's past all their previews when they have the real people here. Audio, video, the real Disney team is here to take pictures in video. Looks like one of our favorite places, Friars Nook, is closed. It says to go to Pinocchio Village House, which is right over there, for your dining pleasure. We're gonna try to get on to Winnie the Pooh. We're at Winnie the Pooh! Garrett is still in his meeting, which is why I'm doing all the talking. He really needs to stop working, because we're at Disney. Hi, Piglet! <laughs> Hi, Pooh! <laughs> Look at Eeyore! <laughs> new Winnie the Pooh plushies. They are adorable. This is what they look like. They're so cute. I'm not gonna, I don't want to touch anything. But we actually just purchased the piglet at uh, World of Disney last night and I think we're gonna re request the rest from Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes because they're so cute. Like look at Eeyore, he's adorable. So we're back in Fantasyland, just got off the Winnie the Pooh ride and it definitely looks a little bit more crowded back here. I mean there's people. Everyone's still socially distanced but it does look a little bit 
more like normal back here, I guess I should say. More Disney ducks, just hanging out. We just walked into Star Traders, I think it's called, in Tomorrowland, and look at what we found. We were looking for this everywhere at Disney Springs yesterday, and Garrett found it in his size. How excited are you? <laughs> he can't talk because he's working. We are now going into Space Mountain. It's only a 15 minute wait. And they, of course, have hand sanitizer at the entrance. And it looks like we're going in through a different way. Is this the normal queue line? I guess we never go through the normal queue line. <laughs> 15 minute wait means a five minute wait, which is basically just as long as it takes you to walk to the actual ride. So this is pretty awesome. We have the train all to ourselves. So that was awesome. We were the only ones in the train. That's it, we were in the front. <laughs> and we didn't have to wait in line for it, so I feel like we should go again. Here's the crowd level still. And we've got a friend over here. We've got Stitch. <laughs> so it's cute. It's like a little meet and greet. People are waiting in line to take a picture with him. That is super cute. People Mover is currently not working, so hopefully it opens up for us later. I gotta get a, my People Mover in. Base Ranger Spin is a five minute wait. So over here in Tomorrowland, kind of next to Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, there's this little walkway. And back in this walkway is a little break center where you can take your mask off, cool down for a bit. So that's where we're headed. You can get your sanitizer here. And you can just sit down and take your mask off over here. All right, so we are sitting in one of the rest areas where you're kind of allowed to take your mask off. This is in the Tomorrowland Terrace. It's typically where they have the dessert parties for Happily Ever After and like events like that. So yeah, so they have it open. There's cast members that count the number of people in and then when you leave the same number of people out. But um, yeah, it's a nice little, they have some fans and this is our view. Castle's right over there. All right, just left Tomorrowland Terrace for our break, and now we're gonna see if we could get into the plaza, which is right here off the hub. There's the castle. We'll see. The plaza had a 30 minute wait, and Casey's Corner is closed. So we're gonna try to find food somewhere else. You can see here that at Casey's Corner, they are social distancing the tables, so only the tables with chairs are the ones that you can sit at. We are back in Adventureland, but they do have some health and safety reminders here. Wear a face mask, maintain physical distance, wash your hands, and then they also have wait times. I don't know if you can see that, but they have wait times for all of the rides. Here is where you can get the Dole Whip right next to the Tiki Room. Hi guys! How's it going? Guys, look! It's Merida! My girl! Yes! She looks so good! Hi! And look at my other girls coming up! Oh my goodness! All three of my favorites in this. It's amazing. Hi Rapunzel! Hi Tiana! Oh my goodness. I love this! That's a beautiful Snow White. We just put in a mobile order for Peco Spills. I got the text that my order was ready. It says to pick up at 6, which is right there. We're kind of just waiting right now to social distance. Just a really simple lunch at Peco Spills. I got like a chicken rice bowl with black beans. Alyssa got some beef nachos with queso and all the fixings for it and some Diet Coke. So. It's time to cool off a little bit and uh, rehydrate and re-energize. All right, so lunch is finished and we are out and about. There's a little sprinkle happening right now. Yeah. Uh, but I think we're going to go check out the Pirates of the Caribbean merchandise shop and uh, then head to the Emporium. Yep, I'm glad we came in because it is, in typical Florida fashion, storming. It's not storming, it's pouring down rain. So, let's see. 2.03, let's see how long it takes for the rain to go away. 
And like that, the rain has come to a sprinkle. And it's 2.05. Oh. <laughs> so literally three minutes of rain. So storms don't really last long in Florida, so don't run back to your resort as soon as it starts raining. No. It is 2.12 in the afternoon, and Main Street is literally empty. Look at this. I mean, there's people up by the hub, but there is no one. No one. Zip, not a zilch. This is silly. We have made it to the Emporium. Garrett's getting his life together over here. I was wiping away my sweat. Oh. <laughs> I do love the super brightness of all of this. This Dumbo's new, too. Oh, and look at the Daisy. These are definitely new as well. I don't know what they're called, but they're adorable. They have a pillow pet spin. <gasps> I feel like his antlers would poke me all the time. We're debating if we should get the baby Yoda before we leave. I say yes. Garrett says, I don't know. So the Emporium does have a pin board, and this is the first time we've pin you. traded. There's some good ones. Oh, there are some good ones. I was like this one, maybe? Yeah. Or, the... or what's his face up there? Or this, oh, or this guy. They're both the country bears. Should we get both of the country bears? Yeah, get the country bears. All right, so we're gonna put 2018 pirates on there. And? and we'll put this guy on there. I don't know who this is. Yeah, put it on there. Oh, that's our first time pin trading. That was exciting. That was exciting. We are in the queue for Mine Train and we just keep walking straight through it. So this is awesome. They of course have the spacing, the six feet spacing. They are prepared. And of course this part is all cut off. You cannot touch those, but you can technically touch these if you would like. So they are currently doing cleaning. I don't know if you can see, they're even wiping down the, um, the boots that you stand in before you get on the ride. Taking all precautions. All right, we are in row seven. It took about, what, 20, 15, minutes? 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes, so not too bad. A lot better than what it is on a normal Disney day, so we're excited to get on Mine Train! Hi! Hi. <laughs> I can't call this on this! I'm on my phone, it's on the ride! Picture, maybe? Ah! <laughs> 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 oh yes, oh, yeah. that was so good. <laughs> we were just at Mine Train. Look at Fantasyland, guys. There is like no one here. But we are going to get on Peter Pan's flight if the wait is not too long. Peter Pan's flight is a 15 minute wait. The indoor queue for Peter Pan's flight is adorable. So whenever we're not having, a, whenever we don't have a fast pass, we're super excited to go through the queue. The dollies. Nana. Get away, butterflies. Shoot butterflies. Butterflies. Oh. Isabel. Yes. <laughs> I love this queue. It's so interactive and adorable. Tinkerbell does fly around. I don't see her anywhere. Thank you. There's Nana. Hi, Nana. <laughs> hey there, Toot Toot. Toot Toot. In the movie. Zootopia. Zootopia. <laughs> People rag on this ride a lot. I like it. I like it. I just like don't want to wait in line for it. Yeah. Because it's normally like a 90 minute wait. <laughs> we waited like 20 minutes. <laughs> we got to go through the regular queue. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Look at the mermaids. Mermaids. Hey girl. What up girls? Hey girl. What up? Every up. Every year. Every year. <laughs> Watch your eyes open. <laughs> you said my name. You said my name. Look at these guys getting it on. Get their drumming on. Oh, oh no, Wendy. Oh no. Trouble, kid. Oh, yeah. Hooray. Hooray. 
Okay. <laughs> Wrong ride, but I support it. So for Peter Pan's flight, they did load every single one. So they must be, they look like they're six feet distance anyways. So that makes sense. Alyssa, what'd you get? I got the goods. And you can get ice water at any quick serve, right? Yep, any quick service. And a lot of the just food kiosks also have ice water. And so you can ask for just plain water or with ice. Obviously we want with ice because our water bottle is a 24 hour um, cold. So it keeps the ice in there basically during our whole Disney day. So we always have ice water, it's great. And we have a friend. He keeps, they think I have food. Oh, my mask. I will say it just feels good to have all the cast members welcome you back. And every cast member has like genuinely felt excited to be here, which I don't know if they actually are and in real life, but, here. and they keep thanking us for being here. It's just super sweet and it makes our experience even better. The Storybook Circus has our favorite place to get cake packs, the Big Top Souvenirs, but it's closed. We were saying we are going to also be here for opening day of Magic Kingdom for, to the public. So it will, be, it will be interesting to see what's going to be open and what's not going to be open. Like, is there going to be more open then than there is now? I'm assuming so. We'll see. But we are now on the backside of Fantasyland and we're going to go on The Little Mermaid. Looks like standby is a 10 minute wait. So it means probably means it's a walk on. It's so beautiful. I feel like we never go on this during the day. <laughs> I just realized most of the time when we come on this ride is when it's like at night and dark. So I never get to see the queue during the day. Very strange. Thank you so much. Time to go under the sea. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Where the people are. guys um, so first off let me show you where we are so this is this little square back here by Gaston's Tavern and there's nobody literally zip not a zilch but it is currently 4 11 and we have a live coming up at 5 o'clock yes we've been in these outfits all day all day <laughs> So, I think we're gonna need a bit of a costume change. Yes, we do. So... We need to change our outfits and get less sweaty. Is that Disney magic? What? It is, it is what? Disney magic. What is this? Oh, this is a sick shirt. <laughs> what is that on there? Is, is that Space Mountain? Oh. It's Garrett's favorite. And Alyssa. And look at my new top. Whoa. I love the new retro Dude. look. I love the colors and I've got ears on now. This Disney magic. This stuff is real. It's so real. All right, ready? Yes. We're out by the castle, and if you're a geek like me, I always wonder how they do all the, you know, the magic, the tech. So down here is this, this light truss, and it's on a scissor lift, and it comes up, 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 up. So if you see any show, you'll see on either side of the castle, there's these two light trusses with these. And I've never got to look at them because we're always pushed through here. But so. there's also lights blending in with the grass yep. over so there. So they have and over here. they have a bunch of moving heads over there. They have a bunch of moving heads over there. I mean, it's, it's so I'm pretty sure that that right there is like the booth that they run everything from. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm a super big geek when it comes to that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh man, guys, I can't put into words how good this castle looks. The castle was redone on the 25th anniversary for like a birthday cake and this one is decorated more like a wedding cake. For the 50th anniversary that gold and the, I can't I can't. It's beautiful guys. It is so beautiful. It is absolutely. And it's not even done yet. No it's not even done. It's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> One last view of the castle. We were just live for like two hours. If you haven't watched our live, we'll leave it linked down below. But that's where we spent the last few hours mm -hmm. and we had a super magical day. We're gonna end at our hotel and we'll kind of give you a recap of our thoughts and how we thought the day went.